nation. A tool once reserved for law enforcement is now being marketed to the public as a way of reducing crime. However, privacy advocates are concerned about potential for abuse. News Nation reporter Matt Graham has the story, which is playing out in Fort Mill, South Carolina. Kyle Adams has lived in this quiet Fort Mill neighborhood for more than 20 years. He noticed this eye in the sky a few days ago and sees no issue. If you don't let something like that bother you, then you're going to be a very bothered person. But these license plate readers do bother the American Civil Liberties Union of South Carolina. It's deeply troubling. Executive Director Frank Knack is pushing for a law to safeguard the data. It enables law enforcement to you know, get around any warrant requirements that exist um, so they can have you know access to this trove of private information about individuals without going through any court. We started Flock to eliminate nonviolent crime. Flock Safety is partnering with Tiga K Police to encourage homeowners and businesses to buy into a technology once reserved for law enforcement. License plates give police the lead they need to actually solve crime. Flock says its cameras do not record a live feed and says its data is stored in a secure cloud for 30 days, then deleted and is owned by the community, turned over to law enforcement only if residents choose to in the event of a crime. The company says there's also an option for police to be alerted if a stolen or wanted vehicle is detected. If these companies really do see their technology as valuable, then they should be at the legislature supporting the attempts to put guardrails on this in the first place and so to make sure that it'll be used properly. Matt Grant, News Nation.